We're here at REIT World 2010 in New York City at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. And joining me is Vic Seth, Managing Director and Head of the Real Estate Group for Raymond James. We have yet to really see the volume of distressed transactions that I think people were expecting this year. Um, do you see these picking up anytime soon? Well, I think there's two primary reasons. Uh, first, regulatorily, you know, we have set it up so that none of the organizations that carry a lot of the distress need to get rid of it on a fire sale basis. So I think the, uh, there's an orderly liquidation underway for those who need to get out of the way. Uh, secondly, there has been a flight to quality on the buy side. So large center city properties, well-located assets. Uh, for those, there's a very viable market in all sectors today. So until that whole space clears out, you know, I don't think we necessarily have to deal with the distress, uh, you know, real estate in a again in a fire sale fashion. And then, what about IPO activity? Do you get the sense that there's much percolating there? I think in the long term, the IPO markets are going to play a very useful role in recapitalizing the sector um, because we do need close to a trillion dollars of new equity when all the dust settles uh, in, in the space over the next decade. And the IPO markets will play an important function, uh, but it will it'll happen in fits and starts. You know, there has to be a, a pricing arbitrage, if you will, uh, for people to go public versus private. Uh, in today's IPO market, you know, it's pretty close. You can sell your portfolio for similar cap rates as perhaps you can go public. So you need more than just value maximization uh, as a reason to go public today. Uh, and so you'll see, continue to see core strategic companies going public, but it is not the, again, it's not the way out. It's the way to restart, if you will. And then how about in terms of specific sectors? Do you see any that will have more IPO activity or transaction activity going forward than others? You are going to see some of that self-selection happen. The major food groups, as we call them, you know, office, retail, multifamily, uh, and, and lodging, if you will, you know, we've seen the initial wave, uh, particularly on the lodging side, um, you know, but I think that the specialty sectors you know, we just took a student housing company public uh, about three weeks ago. And so the specialty sectors need more representation in, in, the, in the public markets today. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. Thank you. For more information on REIT World 2010, check out REIT.com. I'm Alan Kenny.